Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to make a ring with some of this rope. And the ring will be smooth all around. I'm, I'm not just going to tie a knot. And the rope we want to use for this is a stranded rope like this. This has three, uh, I don't know, there's probably some technical term for it, but it has three uh, ropes in it. Um, you don't want to use this kind of like woven stuff. This isn't going to work. So you want to cut off a piece that's three times as long as you need. So if we wrap this around in a loop three times, that's how long we want it, and that's how big our ring's gonna be. So I use these um, cable cutters to cut it. You can use a knife or, um, you know, whatever. So I'll cut this off. And this will also be big enough to make three rings because we're gonna use um, each of these strands for one loop. So what I wanna do is unravel this rope now I could melt this end here with my little lighter. I'm just going to melt it a little bit so it doesn't come unraveled. Okay, so I have this unraveled here. I'll just melt the other end too, just a little bit. I'm going to melt these later as a part of the process, so um, I don't need to melt them a whole lot. I actually may cut them off. So I want to wrap this around. You want it um, you know, three layers thick all around the circle. So I'll just lay this out. Like so. So we have it about like that. That's three all the way around. And then here we want a little bit of overlap. So I'll overlap it a little bit. Okay. And then I want to twist this back onto itself. Okay, so I have this all the way around once, and now I want to do it the third time, and this will make it um, take it back to its original uh, width. And I'm twisting this rope a little bit. I don't want to just lay it down, I'm twisting it so it fits within the uh, rope, so it's tight. I guess I didn't mention here, I'm using a synthetic rope, a plastic rope. Uh, I don't know, I guess you could do this with a natural rope. Um, I'm not sure how you join the ends there. But now that I'm at the end here, I'll unravel this just a little bit. And I'm going to want the outside, or the uh, where they join on the outside. So first I'll flex this and make sure it's where it wants to be. And then I can take um, scissors or my cutters, either way, and I'll cut this. Okay, and then I want, I might cut a little more off of that. Okay, so now I want to cut the other side here. I'm going to use scissors for this. I need a little more precision. Okay, and then I'm going to take my flame, and this can be a little dangerous here. So I'm just going to melt both sides here. And then I'm going to press them together. So needless to say, you should use uh, safety when you're doing this because this gets really hot and it can stick to your skin. A little underneath you could you could also potentially use like a heat gun or something you see this kind of melt this is kind of burning it almost there we go I could maybe melt that a little bit more but you can kind of melt both ends and stick together um, and then you have your closed ring like that so what, I, what I've actually used these for is I made a boat and I had a hole drilled in each end and I weaved one of these through that hole and then put the glued part inside the hole so it looked like this and it just looked like one continuous loop of rope. So another thing you could use these for is maybe like a ring toss game 
or just for decoration, things like that. So if you did make this out of natural rope, you could maybe glue this somehow and, you know, try and hide it on the back side. So if you're doing a decoration, you could, you know, hide on the back side and it'll just look like a continuous loop of rope. So, so that's how you, um, so that's how you, you know, weave a continuous loop of rope. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.